gonna talk about sex. Okay. <laughs> it's such a click big it's such a click bait title, but I mean T's gotta get the views somehow. <laughs> silly idea I had, right? I really do want to talk about this topic of uh, SI versus SE in terms of sexual expression. Obviously, when you're having sex, it's it's kind of like a sensing thing, right? I mean, obviously, people, I guess, people do think during sex, yeah, and that's maybe intuition, but otherwise, I think whether someone is an SE user or an SI user, it determines a lot of their sexual behavior. And I wanna talk about this topic so that I guess I guess the next time you go into this kind of situation you can maybe like know what to expect. It's just a fun way to learn about this topic. Like if you don't want to learn about cognitive functions and then you see this video, maybe maybe I'll be interested. I guess for an SE user, okay by the way I'm an SI user, but I guess for an SE user the sex is more about the act and the sensations. I mean, it is for the SI user as well, but for an SI user, it would be more about the concept of sex, like the idea of sex, I guess, turns them on more than the actual act. A lot of people say that this is actually a male versus female thing, but I think it has actually more to do with MBTI than, you know, man versus woman or whatever gender you prefer. I mean, I think this is even reflected when people talk about sex. Um, usually, uh, if you're talking to an SE user about sex, they, they tend to talk about like maybe the positions or like if they had an orgasm or not. But talk to an SI user, they'll probably talk about the situation leading up to the act. And I guess the circumstances surrounding it, like if as a user is talking about candles and silk sheets, it's gonna be because maybe candles smell nice, the sheets feel good, all these uh, sensual sensations. But an SI user would talk about the candles and sheets because it means something to them. You know, it means that someone took the time to like make a romantic atmosphere or that candles are associated with romance in their minds already. So like subtle difference, but it is a difference. Okay, I actually like made a list, so I'm like staring at my list. Um, okay, other thing I wanted to talk about is lingerie, or I guess costumes, <laughs> costumes, whatever you want to wear. Um, I think generally SI cares more about costumes because as I said it's part of the story um, I mean SE people obviously they could also like lingerie because they like the way it feels or the way it looks uh, but in general if it, if it looks good it's good stuff like bows you know um, fish eye hooks hook and eye I don't know what those are called like Corsets, bows, uh, silk, like which fabric, ribbons, it doesn't really mean much to the SE besides, um, I mean beyond what's on the surface level, right? Does it feel good? Does it, um, does it look good? But for the SI user, they might have a preference like for zippers or they might have a preference for leather over silk. It's... I mean like the SE person could have a preference too, but for the SI, the preference is more based on their previous experiences, uh, more based on what they associate. Like they might associate leather with like a bad girl, like a dominant person, and ribbons as being like more submissive. One thing I personally found about SE users <laughs> is that they probably, <laughs> if you wear anything, they'll probably rip it right off in like two seconds because I mean like nothing really feels as good as human skin. but. Like an SI user would probably keep it on, maybe for even the whole act, because, well, you know, I, I think the whole like upskirt thing is more of an SI thing. Like it's just the idea that, oh, I shouldn't be seeing this image and I'm seeing it. The, the, the forbidden idea is what's turning them on. Okay, so another point is that um, SI is uh, obviously it's always accompanied by NE. 
And I think if the NE is on top, that means they usually will have like a very colorful inner life and they will have many different fantasy scenarios. NI also has fantasies, but in my experience, when someone has NI, their fantasies are more cohesive. Like they, they might have just like one type of fantasy and every other thing umbrellas under it. Whereas the uh, NEs, there might have like completely different fantasies. They're like thinking about elves one day and then thinking about, I don't know, their boss on another day. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to touch upon was this idea of giving versus receiving. I mean, obviously you can do both. This is actually something that, I mean, you would think that maybe FE users would be more giving, which I mean, it's sometimes true, but I think this is one thing that cannot be determined by a SI versus SE or any, really like any aspect of MBTI or even Enneagram. Yeah, in my opinion, MBTI personality types will not determine if you're, I guess, more of a giver or a receiver. Drink sex. That is all. <laughs> I hope the video was helpful or like slightly educational or maybe you thought it was complete crap. You can you can tell me in the comments if you agree or disagree. Like are you an SI user? Are you an SE user? Do you not know? I mean I'll tell you. If you don't know, <laughs> just write your type and then I'll tell you if you have SI or SE. And then obviously like where you have it on the cognitive stack, it's also gonna affect some of your behavior, I suppose. Okay, well Thank you for tuning in to the INFP Corner and I'll see you next time.